here's which M2 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro you should probably buy. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. This is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, I implore you to please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. I am excited because the M2 redesigned MacBook Air is now available to order. You can go order one right now. But which model should you get or should you opt for the M2 13 inch MacBook Pro? I'm gonna help you answer that very question in this video. Oftentimes deciding which Mac to buy can be a daunting task. There are so many different configurations and ways that the various models will overlap that it makes it difficult to know which is the best choice to buy. And that's why I'm here to help you out. For most of you out there, almost everyone watching this video, you should be opting for the M2 MacBook Air over the 13 inch MacBook Pro. And there are a few modifications on top of the base unit that I would probably recommend. Coming in at similar price points, there's a big benefit to going with the MacBook Air over the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Air has just been redesigned and immediately out of the gate comes with several new finishes. Not only can you get this in silver and space gray, but you can get it in starlight and midnight as well. The MacBook Air also has an additional port. You have MagSafe 3, which you can use for charging, freeing up your two USB-C ports for data, monitors, or any other accessories. The built-in camera is better, has a 1080p FaceTime camera versus only 720p on the 13-inch MacBook Pro. The MacBook Air has a larger screen at 13.6 inches versus 13.3 on the MacBook Pro. And overall, it's just a lighter weight, more compact machine. For pretty much everybody, the MacBook Air makes a whole lot more sense than the MacBook Pro. So if you look at the pricing of the M2 MacBook Air and the M2 MacBook Pro, for the M2 MacBook Air, the base model, it gives you eight gigs of unified memory, 256 gigs of storage, and the eight core GPU. And that'll run you $1,199. That's $100 less than the M2 13 inch MacBook Pro. The only difference is that the M2 MacBook Pro starts off with the 10 core GPU. But you can also add that 10 core GPU to the MacBook Air for $100. Meaning with those modular parts, the storage, the memory, and the graphics, you can get them all to be the same for the same price. So you can get an M2 MacBook Air or an M2 MacBook Pro for $12.99 with the eight gigs of memory, 256 gigs of storage, and the 10 core GPU. If you plan on doing anything graphical, editing photos, editing videos, you should probably spring for that 10 core GPU. It's also not that expensive at only a $100 upgrade. Besides the GPU, I'd also recommend updating the memory. You can go all the way up to 24 gigs of memory, but I think for a lot of users out there, the 16 is gonna be a good sweet spot. That's what I recommend for the everyday user upgrade to the 16 gigs of unified memory for about 200 bucks. The last thing that you may want to consider upgrading is the storage. Just like the GPU and the memory, you can't upgrade the storage down the line. And 256 gigs is simply not a lot, especially if you plan on saving any level of photos or videos on your Mac. If you're just dealing with documents, 256 is probably fine, but it really isn't a lot and you may be kicking yourself down the line when you run into limitations with your SSD. If it's possible, I'd spend the extra couple hundred dollars and move up to that 512 gig SSD or even the two ter or the one terabyte if possible. But I think 512 for your average user should be just fine. So right now, that puts our recommended MacBook Air at $1699. That's opting for the upgraded GPU upgraded storage, and upgraded memory. That would be the ideal situation, but you can back off on any of those three components based on your projected workflow. Just remember again, you can't upgrade these things down the line. But there is other things to take into consideration. At that price point for the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air, 
you're only $300 shy from the 14-inch MacBook Pro with the same specs but an M1 Pro processor on the inside. You could make that upgrade, but if you're trying to save money, I think the MacBook Air is the In some instances, there will be those that prefer to overlook the tangible benefits of the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air in favor of the M2 13-inch MacBook Pro. With the knowledge that due to thermal restrictions, you'll be able to eke out just a bit more performance from that 13-inch MacBook Pro than the 13-inch MacBook Air. I really do think it is a very small group of people that this applies to, and the vast majority of users are going to be better off with the redesigned MacBook Air or just spending a bit more money and going for that 14-inch MacBook Pro. But let me know what you guys think. Again, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor are available to order. You can find the links and deals down below in the description. Let me know what you think on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or down below in the comments. Stay tuned because we'll have a lot more footage of the M2 MacBook Air once it arrives in our studio. And I'll see you later.